Welcome seekers of knowledge, I'm glad you're here. Today we're uncovering the 10 deep, surprising challenges that INFJs generally have to face that they themselves may not be aware of. Firstly, let's briefly touch on what an INFJ is. INFJ standing for Introverted Intuitive Feeling and Judging is one of the 16 personality types identified by the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. INFJs are known for their compassion, complexity and visionary abilities. They are the rarest personality type, making up less than 1% of the population, which can sometimes make them feel unique, but also misunderstood. INFJs are gifted with unique abilities and intuition. They're often seen as wise beyond their years, and they tend to view the world through a lens of human connection. They have an innate ability to understand complex human emotions and dynamics, but these very gifts can also lead to struggles, leaving them feeling misunderstood and alone. Their introspective nature and depth of understanding can make them seem distant or aloof. Their intuitive understanding of others' feelings can make them susceptible to emotional exhaustion. They may also struggle with feeling like they don't quite fit into societal norms or expectations. Despite their empathetic nature, INFJs often find themselves at war with their own feelings. They grapple with internal conflicts, fears of rejection, and the burden of being over-empathetic. Their quest for perfection and idealism can lead them to feel dissatisfied and constantly striving for more. They may avoid conflict to maintain harmony, but this can lead to a crisis of identity as they struggle to assert their own needs and desires. Overthinking is another common trait of INFJs. Their minds are always buzzing with thoughts and ideas, and they often find it difficult to switch off. This can lead to feelings of isolation as they struggle to find balance between their rich inner world and the external world around them. Knowing ourselves better makes it easier to understand and navigate life successfully. So let's dive into these challenges to better comprehend the INFJ experience. Number one, internal conflict. INFJs are often in a battle with themselves, grappling with their high ideals versus reality. Their inner world is a rich tapestry of visions and possibilities, yet they are constantly confronted by the harsh realities of the world. This constant struggle can lead to feelings of dissatisfaction and a sense of never quite reaching their potential. Now, let's move on to the second challenge, fear of rejection. This fear can be a significant hurdle for INFJs. They long for meaningful connections and deep relationships, yet their fear of rejection can often hold them back. They may hesitate to express their true thoughts and feelings, fearing that they will be misunderstood or rejected this can cause them to feel isolated, even when surrounded by others. Next, we turn our attention to the third challenge, being overburdened by empathy. INFJs are often hailed for their empathetic nature, their ability to understand and share the feelings of others. This is a beautiful trait, but it can also be a double-edged sword. Their empathy can become overwhelming, leading them to shoulder the pain and suffering of those around them. This can often leave them feeling drained and emotionally exhausted. Each of these challenges, the internal conflict, the fear of rejection and the burden of empathy can weigh heavily on an INFJ. They may feel like they are constantly walking a tightrope, trying to balance their internal desires with the expectations of the world around them. However, it's essential to remember that these challenges do not define them. They are simply a part of their journey, a part of their unique INFJ experience. Recognizing these struggles is the first step towards understanding and ultimately overcoming them. These challenges can be daunting, but understanding them is the first step towards overcoming them. Remember, being an INFJ is not about being perfect. It's about being true to oneself, embracing one's strengths and acknowledging one's challenges. It's about understanding that it's okay to be different, to be unique, to be an INFJ. Moving on to number four, perfectionism. INFJs are idealists, and this can lead to a relentless pursuit of perfection. They often set sky-high standards for themselves and others. This pursuit, while admirable, can turn into a significant challenge. The world is not perfect, and when reality doesn't meet their ideals, it can lead to disappointment and self-criticism. Take, for instance, an INFJ artist. They might spend hours perfecting a single brushstroke, never quite satisfied. This is not because they lack skill or talent, but because they're chasing an elusive idea of perfection. And while this pursuit can lead to incredible works of art, it can also lead to exhaustion, burnout, and ultimately a loss of joy in their craft. Next, we have number five, conflict avoidance. 
INFJs are natural peacemakers. They have a deep desire for harmony in their relationships, which can sometimes lead them to avoid conflict at all costs. But conflict, while uncomfortable, is a natural part of human interaction. By avoiding it, INFJs may inadvertently suppress their own feelings and needs, leading to resentment and a loss of self. Consider an INFJ in a group project. They might have a brilliant idea but choose to keep it to themselves to avoid upsetting the status quo. This avoidance, while maintaining peace in the short term, can stifle their creativity and contribution in the long run. Now, number six, identity crisis. INFJs, with their deep empathy, often absorb the emotions and perspectives of those around them. This can blur the lines between their own identity and the identities of others. They may find themselves questioning, who am I really? Am I just a mirror for others? This struggle can be particularly intense for INFJs who value authenticity and individuality. Imagine an INFJ therapist. They may spend their days so deeply immersed in the lives and emotions of their clients that they start to lose sight of their own feelings, needs and desires. This loss of self can be deeply unsettling and can lead to an identity crisis. Recognizing these challenges is an important part of self-understanding which can lead to healthier relationships. Let's continue with number seven, overthinking. INFJs, known for their depth of thought and introspection, often find themselves trapped in a web of overthinking. They can spend hours, even days, ruminating on a single topic, dissecting it from every angle, and this can often lead to spiraling thoughts and anxiety. Imagine a hamster running on a wheel tirelessly, endlessly. That's an INFJ's mind, always in motion, always seeking depth and understanding. But sometimes this wheel spins out of control, leading to exhaustion and stress. Moving on to number eight, isolation. INFJs, being introverts, naturally enjoy solitude, but there's a delicate balance to maintain. Too much isolation can lead to feelings of loneliness and disconnect. INFJs might retreat into their own world, building walls so high that even they struggle to climb over them. Picture a castle with a moat around it, the drawbridge raised high. That's an INFJ in isolation, safe inside their fortress, but disconnected from the outside world. Next up, number nine, the struggle with self-care. INFJs with their nurturing nature often put others' needs before their own. They are the healers, the listeners, the ones who make everything all right. But in their quest to help others, they often forget to take care of themselves. It's like a candle burning at both ends, providing light to others, but gradually burning itself out. Finally, number 10, difficulty setting boundaries. INFJs value harmony and dislike conflict, making it difficult for them to assert their boundaries. They may end up overcommitting, overextending, and overexerting themselves in an attempt to keep everyone around them happy. It's like a leaf in the wind, being blown about without any control over its direction. Awareness of these challenges can help INFJs and those around them to better comprehend their experiences, leading to more fulfilling interactions. While these challenges may seem overwhelming, understanding them is a crucial step in the journey to self-understanding. It's like traversing a labyrinth. The twists and turns may seem daunting, but every step brings you closer to the center, closer to your true self. INFJs, like all of us, are on a continuous journey of self-discovery. Their unique abilities and intuition may sometimes seem like a double-edged sword, but they are also their greatest strengths. It's important for INFJs to remember that these challenges do not define them, but rather they offer opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Self-understanding is not just about introspection. It's about recognizing our patterns, our strengths, our weaknesses, and how we interact with the world. It's about peeling back the layers and uncovering the core of who we truly are. And when we understand ourselves better, it becomes easier to attract people who appreciate us for who we are, fostering healthier, more fulfilling relationships. To all the INFJs out there, and to anyone intrigued by personality types, I encourage you to keep exploring, keep learning. There is a wealth of knowledge out there, a universe within each of us waiting to be discovered. Take it one day at a time, one challenge at a time. Remember, it's not a race, it's a journey. And let's not forget the power of community. Sharing your experiences, your challenges, your victories can be incredibly cathartic. It not only helps others who may be facing similar issues, but also provides you with a fresh perspective. Remember, the journey to self-understanding is ongoing. Continue to explore, 
learn and grow. We're here to support you along the way. So what challenges resonate with you the most? Comment below and let's start a conversation. Don't forget to download our free ebook about the eight introverted Myers-Briggs personality types from the link in the description and subscribe to gain valuable insights, support and understanding as we navigate the unique challenges of being an INFJ together. Until next time, enjoy your journey of self-discovery and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.